So we have a geometric series x plus 90 plus 81 and some numbers therefore. And then 2.1 says determine the value of x. For a geometric series, we know that we have a common ratio. The common ratio is given by Tn divided by Tn minus 1. So if we have T3, Tn minus 1 is T2. And then if we have T2, Tn minus 1 is T1. So this is the idea we're going to use to determine the value of x. So what is T3? T3 is 81 and T2 is 90. We say in that T2 is 90 and then T1 is x. So from here, we can then solve for x, so to say. So we're going to have 81 multiplied by x is equals to 90 multiplied by 90. At this step, I don't want to put this 90 multiplied by 90 in the calculator. I'm avoiding anything that can make me make a mistake. So the only time I'll put it, I'll put something in a calculator, it's when I have to or I'm at the end and I have to determine my answer. So if I carry on from this, I will get x equals to 90 multiplied by 90 divided by 81. And then at this step, that's where I can put it in the calculator. And then if you put this in the calculator, you're going to get 100. So that's the value of x. The value of x for this question is 100. And then let's move ahead. 2.2 says, show that the sum of the first n terms in the sequence uh, is Sn equals to 1000 multiplied by 1 minus 0, 0,9 to the power n. So what's the formula for the sum of n terms in a geometric series? The, the, the formula is given as the sum of the n terms is equals to a multiplied by 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. a is the first term as you should know by now and then r is our common ratio and then n is the number of terms of which are interested in. So we're going to have Sn equals to a is 100, right? Because 100 is our first term, which was x before we determined it. And then 1, that is 1. And then to find r, we, di we divide Tn by Tn minus 1. So if we take uh, Tn as 90, then we're going to divide it by uh, the term before it, which is 100 and then everything to the power n and then we divide this by 1 minus 90 divided by 100 right then this will be equals to 100 multiplied by 1 uh, minus 90 divided by 100 that is 0, 0,9 to the power n everything divided by 1 div 1 divided by 10 because if you subtract a 90 divided by 100 in 1 you're left with 1 divided by 10. So from here, we're going to say, we know that if we have A multiplied by B, uh, everything divided by C, this is the same as A uh, divided by C, uh, everything multiplied by B. So if we apply that idea here, we're going to get 100 divided by 1 divided by 10 multiplied by 1 minus 0, 0,9 to the power n and then 100 divided by 1 divided by 10 that will give you 1000 uh, multiplied by 1 minus 0, 0,9 to the power n which is what our equation asks us to show and then 2.3 uh, goes on to say that uh, calculate the sum to infinity after I calculated Sn, I know that the sum to infinity is going to be 1000. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because I know that the sum to infinity is just A divided by 1 minus R. And then that's how we got 1000. We got it from A divided by 1 minus R. But then let's go ahead and show that. We know that the sum of infinity, like we're saying, is A divided by 1 minus R 
what is a a is 100 and then one and then r is 0 0.9 if you put that in the calculator you get 1000 